Breakfast, Ryan Matouche. Sponsored by Lewis Toyota. A little bit of drizzle today for the morning and afternoon, continuing on into the evening and overnight hours. Several of our cams showing some of that moisture on their screens. And then, of course, we're seeing some visibility concerns as well with fog and mist developing across portions of Northeast Kansas. Here's a live look outside of our Lawrence camera, probably one of the more heavily affected areas from what we can see here in the studio. So give yourself a little extra time if you have to be anywhere late this evening. Mostly cloudy skies being picked up by our satellite and radar. If we zoom out just a little bit, I want to talk about the surrounding region because we have some winter weather advisories in effect for just to the north and west of Republic County, areas such as Concordia and Marysville. Temperatures are starting to drop, and if they continue to do so even further, could start to see some light freezing drizzle, and of course that becomes a bigger concern. Right now, though, visibility uh, at the top of all, one of the top concerns right now, too, because we are seeing about three miles in Topeka, 1.7 in Lawrence, Emporia now down to less than a mile up north and out west, two to four miles of visibility. Uh, so lots going on tonight. The drizzle, it could become a bigger problem if things start to freeze more. But for right now, temperatures are just too warm. And we're expecting him to stay that way. So the freezing drizzle, if it does occur, will be mostly up to the north and west. And that's where those temperatures right now are isolated to just above freezing. Any lower than that, though, a little bit of a bigger concern. All right, temperatures tomorrow morning, upper 30s and lower 40s as we kick off our Thursday. Then by the afternoon, we don't warm up a whole lot, if at all. 40s to the north, middle 40s for much of the I-70 corridor. I think this model's a little bit on the cool side, uh, but I'm confident we'll get to at least 40 for several different spots across the viewing area. Wind speeds out of the east northeast 5 to 10 miles an hour through tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, things pick up just a little bit out of the northwest, a good 5 to 10 miles an hour with some possible gusts in the area. But the main story will continue to be cloud cover and some rain moving through. So let's break that down overnight. We're expecting mostly cloudy skies and then a bigger push of energy. Energy arrives early tomorrow morning around sunrise. Some pockets of heavier rain will be possible. Some rumbles of thunder and then notice the blue and pink right here. Could be seeing a few snowflakes try to mix in at this time. And then Thursday 930 are northern counties. Again, they're going to be just close enough to that cold air where some snow could move in. But the vast majority of us should just be seeing some light rain, some pockets of heavier rain possible. And again, one or two rumbles of thunder moving through. And then through the late afternoon and early evening, things start to clear up. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies late Thursday. And then we see a break from the rain on Friday. Friday afternoon, we start to clear out and rain doesn't come back into the area until Saturday morning. So a couple days away, but we are watching it tonight. Cloud cover in the area. Showers pick up after about four or five o'clock in the morning. Rain through about sunrise and then kind of even lingering through lunchtime. 47 on our Friday, Saturday and Sunday, upper 40s, lower to middle 50s. Some more rain chances in there. And then heading into next week, temperatures moderate just a little bit back into the 50s for more normal temperatures. Yeah. It's that time of year. It's almost spring. Kansas weather's going all over. All over the and place. And the spring, that makes a difference too. <laughs> yes, thank you, Ryan. Of course. All right, local basketball teams started their state basketball runs today.